Hello, this is Mike from MF Woodshop. Today I'm going to build a few beds for my dog and uh, I'm going to build a couple extra maybe for my craft fair. Stick with me, see how I do it. All right, I'm going to do this step first because um, I'm going to contact cement both of these together and uh, I want the glue to dry while I mill up the wood and uh, cut the wood and everything. Um, so these are just scrap pieces that I had. Here's a, a whiteboard. Here's some uh, uh, just some quarter inch luon. Individually, I don't think they're strong enough, but together, glued together, they'll be they'll be just fine. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now is uh, contact cement both of these together. All right, if you've never used contact cement before, you got to put it on both surfaces and uh, allow it to tack up for about 10-15 minutes or so. And then once they tack up you can actually put them both together and uh, form one board or one piece. They use this technique all the time for uh, cabinet tops and that's what they, uh, that's one of the great purposes of this particular glue. Um, but do yourself a favor, uh, make sure you have a well-ventilated area because it, uh, it definitely stinks, that's for sure.
Okay, finished the project. Actually built two of these. Uh, dog, doggy bed. Uh, they both need finished at this stage. This one is already sanded. The other one needs sanded. And this one's uh, done other than the finish. Um, I'm going to grab the camera and get you a better look at it. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the uh, side of it. And this is designed to fit an everyday pillow. Um, just your standard bed pillow. And that's what uh, this is, fits in. With that uh, joinery technique I had on this side, you can see the uh, almost like a through mortise, but I really didn't cut any mortises for it. Uh, as you can tell on the glue up, it's actually three separate boards. I got one, two, and three. And then uh, down here is where the stretcher comes in. And down here is just a little piece here to make it appear like a through mortise. Um, there's the sides. That's the stretcher right there that goes all the way through. And uh, turned out pretty well. Um, like I said, I made two of these. One is going to be for my dog, and I'm going to sell one at the craft fair. And uh, I'm going to cut away so we can uh, get back on the camera here. All right, just a, uh, another little note on my last video, the iPhone speaker video. Um, I asked you guys to go search my previous videos and find out where my iPhone speaker was. I've had plenty of emails saying uh, that they found it. I'm going to announce the winner on Summer's Woodworking Show tomorrow night. That would be Saturday, August 16th. And uh, if you stay tuned to that show, you'll find out if you're the winner. If you don't watch the show, you won't know if you win. That is the only way you're going to find out if you win. So watch Summer's Woodworking Show tomorrow night, August 16th. It comes on at 8 o'clock. And uh, if you're the winner, email me, say you watched the show, and uh, that I called your name. And uh, if you don't respond, I'll try it again the next week. So there, there you go. Um, I would like to thank Brian uh, for letting me do that. And uh, uh, if you haven't noticed, this is my third video that I've built, edited a video, and released all this week. I don't know why. Uh, just the timing was right and I uh, felt like doing it. So uh, some of these product projects are going to the craft fair coming up in September. And that was one of the reasons why, if I'm going to build them, I might as well shoot a video on them as well. And uh, so that's the only reason. Uh, but thank you for watching. This is Mike from MF Woodshop. Please subscribe, like my videos, and uh, share them if you don't mind. Uh, that goes a lot, long way with me and uh, gets me motivated to even do more projects. And uh, this is Mike from MF Woodshop. We'll see you next time. Thank you.